Ahoy there, my hearties. This week, we're splicing the main braces and, yeah, breaking out every single pirate cliche we know as we round up all the rumours regarding Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, let's not faff about because you probably already know the background. You play Bristolian pirate Edward Kenway, sailing the high seas around Havana, Kingston and Nassau. There's a 60-40 split between land and sea exploration, and the whole thing has a more open world feel than its predecessor. But enough of scene setting, let's get on to the details. In case you didn't already know, Desmond is out, but there will still be a time-hopping story that series fans will find familiar. In terms of combat, expect more of the same. Many familiar weapons like hidden blades, spear darts and swords return, and tellingly, Edward is wielding two swords in most of the pictures we've seen. But there are new additions like blowpipes and pistols. And although pirates are renowned for their lack of subtlety, stealth will indeed be again a big part of the onland sections, something that's really been less of a priority in recent Assassin's Creed games. As you'll have seen in the trailers, the established naval combat of the third Assassin's Creed game forms the aquatic foundation of this game. Kenway has his own ship, the not very threatening sounding Jackdaw, and the ship can be upgraded as you progress. The world, set in the West Indies in 1715, is also entirely seamless. Want to sail from Cuba to Jamaica in real time with no loading brakes? <laughs> Who wouldn't? This is the game for you. There'll be plenty of stuff to see with 50 unique locations including cities, jungles, ruins, coves, caves, all bristling with adventure and plunder. There's also a brand new underwater element hinted at by the presence of a diving bell in the latest trailer. And as you shipwreck fans will realise underwater equals treasure. In true pirate style, an eyeglass can also be used not only to check out distant ships, but also landmarks and wildlife, the latter of which can be hunted as in the third game. Yeah, let's not worry about what Petter think about that. Unfortunately, it sounds like the naval aspect of the game will be single player only, but we can only cross our gnarled fingers for a downloadable expansion. It seems unlikely though, unless of course it docks as premium DLC. Would you be do that to us? Well, you decide. An on-land multiplayer element remains, and there's also some speculation about the presence of a co-op mode, something initially planned for the 2007 original, but dropped in favour of the Desmond storyline. A crucial element of the story for anyone rolling their one remaining eye at the thought of eight months of pirate puns is that this isn't all peg legs and pretty pollies. Yubi is pitching Black Flag as the HBO treatment of piracy. Think The Wire with rum breath and fewer teeth. Or don't, because lead content manager Carsten Myhill told MCV that the team are resolutely staying away from the cliches. To use their words, it's not for kids, as if a frigate of cutlass swinging murderers ever was. The clue is in the title Real Pirates Flew the Black Flag, not the more established and, to be truthful, anachronistic Skull and Crossbones. So, how long will you have to wait? Well, this one is set in stone. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag launches in the UK on November the 1st. Stick with CVG for more news and previews as we get them, and we'll end with a joke. Why are pirates pirates? They just are. <laughs>